I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is my You know how you've seen videos where someone's picture seems to fly right out of nowhere and appear on the screen? Today I'm going to show you how you can do this easily using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus right at home on your PC. You can do this using any picture or video. For this example, I'm going to import in a background of the sky so that our video clip seems to be flying in out of the wild blue yonder. Since this picture doesn't fill up my widescreen and I only want the part with the sky, I'll blow it up and zoom in only on the sky part. First, click on the background so that it will become highlighted and you know that it's selected. Click on the Effects tab and select Movement Effects. Move down to where you see Section Zoom and click on that. In this case, you want the picture to fill the screen, so leave the Fill Screen box checked. Now, click where it says Keep Proportions and you'll see a drop down menu appear. If you were using standard definition video, you'd want to select 4-3 landscape as your aspect ratio, but we're using high definition widescreen, so we're going to select 16-9 landscape. You will notice the selection frame in our preview window has changed shape to show the section in it is going to blow up to the full widescreen. You can move this section around and resize it to your liking. In this case, the biggest section in the middle will work best for us. Now, we need to make the picture stay on the screen longer, so we have to stretch it out on the timeline. I'm going to make it about 20 seconds long, just to give myself some space to work. In Movie Edit Pro, the lower tracks appear more in the forefront, or on top of the tracks that are higher in the timeline. So we want to go back to the Import tab, and then drag a video clip or picture onto the next track down, track 2. Now we have our video, which takes up the whole screen. The sky is still behind it, but right now we can't see it. We want to make this video clip seem like it is flying out of the sky right up onto our screen. Now comes the part where we're going to use one of Movie Edit Pro's most powerful features, the keyframe animator. Again, click on the video clip to select it. Then click on the effects tab again. Under movement effects, click on the size position. Underneath all these settings, you'll see a small timeline. This acts very much like the timeline we see below, but this one is a timeline that is dedicated to the one clip we have highlighted. There are harder ways to do this, but today I'm going to show you the easy way. To start off with, we need to think this through. Remember that after our clip flies out of the sky, it's pretty much going to look just like this, filling up the screen. I've decided that I want this flight to take about three seconds. During those three seconds, it will be in flight but after the three seconds it will fill up the screen. Drag the red marker to about three seconds. You can see the time change just to the left of this smaller timeline. It is important to remember that this time that is shown is relative only to the clip that we've selected. The actual time in relation to the entire video will always be shown in the larger timeline below. If you can't get your marker exactly to three seconds, and if you really need to, you can always double click on the time display and manually type in the time. In this case, 3 seconds and 0 frames. Now that our marker is sitting at 3 seconds, we need to set a keyframe. This keyframe will store all kinds of information in it, including size, position, rotation, effects, and more. To set a keyframe, click on the diamond shaped Set Keyframe tool. The other tools here include the Delete Keyframe tool the copy tool, the paste tool, and the nonlinear tool. We'll be using this tool in a minute, so hang tight for an explanation of that. To fancy this up a bit, we're also going to make our video clip flip and twirl into place. So we need to go down and select the rotation mirror effect. Again, since we're thinking three seconds into the video, we need to set a keyframe that tells Movie Edit Pro that our clip is going to be in this exact straight position at the end of the three seconds. Store this rotation information into the current keyframe by clicking on the Set Keyframe tool again. Now it's time to go back in time. Move your red marker all the way to the beginning of the clip 
to the far left of this mini timeline. We're really going to flip and flop this clip around in 3D space. These three knobs represent the X, Y, and Z axes of rotation. You can spin them around to whatever degree you'd like your video to start out at. In this case, I'm going to move all three of them almost a half turn in opposing directions. Notice that since we started setting keyframes, Movie Edit Pro stored this keyframe for us automatically. Now, we need to go back up to our size position effect. We want our video to seem to fly at us from far away, so we are going to have to make it appear smaller. Here is where it might become more obvious why I chose to only spin the clip half a turn in each direction. If I was to spin the object to where it was sideways across the screen, and it was only visible as a narrow sliver of video, I might not be able to clearly see all these side handles. And these are what I must use to resize the video. Grab one of the side handles and move it inward. Don't make it too small or you won't be able to grab it correctly to move it again. Put your mouse in the middle of the clip and move it off the screen. Remember, we're thinking from the past and into the future. This video clip is going to start out far away and off the screen and it will end up close up and filling the screen. This might seem unnecessary since Movie Edit Pro always stores keyframes once the first keyframe is set, but I always make it a healthy habit to click the Set Keyframe tool anyway, just to be safe. Time to preview. Click the play button and you will see the magic unfold. Movie Edit Pro remembers the starting and ending points you set, and it calculates all the frames in between, making a super smooth animated sequence. Here's some fine tuning pointers. Notice how when it plays back it kind of snaps into place once it gets to the full screen position. If you select the non-linear tool it will soften this effect making your clip seem to truly glide into place. Check it out! Also if you want to make the flight pattern a little fancier move the marker somewhere in the middle of the three second portion and then using the size position effect Go to your preview window and move the clip somewhere else on the screen and click the Set Keyframe tool. Now preview it. Nicer, huh? If you don't like it, you can always just click the keyframe you just created and click the Delete Keyframe tool. And that's how you make your video or picture fly onto your screen. You can make it fly off the screen at the end using the same technique in reverse. Thanks for watching.